station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Shaniqua Varane. Relocations, launches, and undockings, oh my, it was a busy week in space and on the ground. Engine start and liftoff. A module named Science takes flight to the International Space Station. On Wednesday, July 21st, the Russian multi-purpose laboratory module, Neuka, was launched into space from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Neuka will serve as a new science facility, docking port, and spacewalk airlock for future operations. Upon arrival, Neuka will automatically link up to the port of the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment. That Earth-facing port is currently home for the Russian Pierce airlock. Pierce, along with the Russian Progress 77 cargo craft, will soon undock from the station, making room for the new module. Check NASA.gov for the latest information to watch live. Also this week, the SpaceX Crew 2 astronauts Shane Kimbrough, Megan MacArthur, Aki Hoshide, and Tomah Pesquet boarded Crew Dragon Endeavor for a short flight. The spacecraft undocked from the forward port of the station's Harmony module. About 50 minutes later, the spacecraft docked to the station again, this time at the station's space-facing port. The relocation freed up Harmony's forward port for the docking of Boeing's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft, scheduled for Saturday, July 31st. And if you're looking for a good conversation about the upcoming Starliner mission, we invite you to listen to this week's Houston We Have a Podcast. This week's special guest, Boeing Starliner Flight Director Bob Dempsey, discusses the upcoming uncrewed orbital flight test 2 mission to the International Space Station for NASA's commercial crew program. Go to nasa.gov slash podcast to find this and other NASA podcasts. The podcast is also available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and SoundCloud. Back inside the station, the science continues, including cool flames investigation with gases. Cool flames, flames that burn at extremely low temperatures, are nearly impossible to create in Earth's gravity. However, they are easily produced in the microgravity environment of the International Space Station. In June, aboard station, spherical non-premixed cool flames were observed burning gaseous fuels for the very first time. Non-premixed cool flames, created when fuel and oxidizer are not mixed before reacting, were discovered in 2012 aboard the space station during the flame extinguishment studies. Cool flames are important to study because engine technology is trending toward lower temperatures. The results of this investigation could lead to cleaner, more efficient internal combustion engines. That's Space to Ground for this week. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space.